All right, guys, here we go. Um, so I'm here with the uh, another box opening. We got some Theros Beyond Death. It's a fat pack. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bust this open and see what we get inside. Um, there's a couple cards I'm looking to get out of here. I, obviously, everybody wants uh, Oro right now. He's really good. But there's just a ton of stuff that I... Uh, I'm hoping to crack out of here, so I figured that maybe just get some packs and do a pack opening for you guys. Obviously, if there was, you know, singles I desperately needed, I would go to my local game store and buy the singles I needed. But I wanted to make some content for you guys. So we got that. Oh, as always, we know that these open up into a nice little poster. If I can find out, there it is where the seam is. Let's check out the post. Oh, we got Elspeth conquering death. Very nice. With the little uh, fairy master in the background. We will uh, probably just throw that in the trash. There are some people who collect them. It's not my thing. Um, also, oh, I got two. Woohoo. So, um, a lot of people are upset about this set um from a from a storyline perspective i understand like i get it um there they did they did not release a storyline for this set which is a shame because i wanted to know like everything that went into it because there was a lot going on but alas here we are so let's check this out what do we got here we have our ad cards our basic planes uh our basic lands and then oh we get a foil Arasta the Endless Web. That's cool. So, and this is alternate art, I believe. That's cool. I didn't know this was in here. And then a pack of foil basic lands. So, I love that they can put foil lands in here, but they can't put the, the full arts. Those are only in the packs. Oh, and the spin down is huge. Cool, I see that they're sticking with the oversized spin down like they did for Throne of Eldraine. I actually really like that. It's a really cool color scheme. It's very cool. Kind of reminds me of Simic. So, of course, obviously, we've got the regular land pack. Exactly the same as the foil, except not foiled. That's a shame. I was hoping they'd give us some cool throw in there. But the Arast is sweet. Um, and then, of course, we have our normal contents, which is our 10 booster packs. Um, obviously the only real big hits in the set are like Oro, um, and, uh, I think, uh, Elspeth, uh, not the Planeswalker, but Elspeth Who Conquers Death, the, is worth a little bit. Um, so let's see what we get. This is, uh, obviously I want Oro. He's really good. Uh, not just in Standard, which I am only playing on Arena right now because of, uh, Coronavirus, but also... Uh, for Commander. I really like a couple copies. I have a couple different Commander decks. He'd slot in nicely, too. So, uh, Lampid, this card has been my MVP um, in draft. Like, I love any time I'm in black. You have to have at least one of these in your draft deck. Um, also, this is my first time opening up the physical cards for this set. One, they're printed a lot darker than the they appear online. And two... Um, they have a weird texture. Like, I'm, I'm actually really digging how they feel. They feel like they were maybe printed in the Japanese one. Um, so here we are in the Uncommons. We got Glimpse of Freedom. Laguna Band Storyteller. Great, great draft pick. Drag to the Underworld. Another great draft pick. And we're starting off with a Calyx Destiny's Hand. There we go. First Mythic down. And we got our Full Art Land and a Seder Token. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I can definitely, definitely get behind our first pack being a Mythic. Maybe not Oro, but he's still a solid Planeswalker. I do like Calyx. Um, Enchantress Commander decks are uh, going to have a great home for him. His uh, minus ability is really nice. All right. So we're going to speed through the uncommons. Oh, Sentinel's Eyes. That's a great uh, draft pick. You always end up with one of those in a, in a white limited deck. We'll witness of tomorrow's underworld fires cling to dust heliod's punishment and chronos hound of athreos we got the good boy the best boy the best little pupper 
Um, we got a goat token and a mountain. Let's talk about uh, Kuranos real quick. Um, for three mana, you get a 3-3 Vigilance Menace lifelink. Um, and he shuts down um, casting stuff from your graveyard, which is, of course, a major part of this set. So he's actually really good at hosing um, what most other strategies probably are doing in this format. I actually really like him in Limited, um, because once your opponent finally does remove him, you usually have gotten to a point where you can do your own graveyard synergies and not care about, about it, or you've drafted around him, um, and you've drafted maybe like the black-white uh, Enchantress-style uh, deck. Or maybe Abzan and Enchantress. Or there's a lot of really cool interaction. Alright, let's speed through these uncommons. Or commons. So we can get to the uncommons. We got Sage of Mysteries. Eutropa twice favored. Fantastic, fantastic card. Um, Binding of the Titans. And uh, Terranika, a Crowan veteran. Uh, for three mana, you get a 3-3 three, three legendary creature. Human soldier, Vigilance. And whenever it attacks, untap another target creature you control. Until that it turn, that creature has base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, and gains indestructible. It's a really good limited bomb. And we got an island and a soldier token. All right, getting, chewing right into these. So far, Calyx is our best hit. Let's hope we change that around. Obviously, like, the temples are okay, but I don't really want to hit them. Um, because I have most of the temples I need for commander, so... Uh, when the original Theros was around, they never really got too expensive. Uh, so our first in common, Stinging Lionfish, Favorite of Aroas, Nessian Wanderer, Wave Break, Hippocamp, Island, and a Zombie Token. I can imagine. I, I have not seen these in person in foil. I've seen just online and stuff. I can imagine they are gorgeous. Um, I do like this land cycle a lot. I don't like how they priced it out to get them on Arena. I think that's a little unfair. I think we should have been able to earn them. Um, like we did a lot of the other lands. So, until then, I'm just gonna... On Arena, I actually really like using the Mirage lands. Um, oh, things are jumping off my counter. Um, so, on to our next pack here. We've got our commons. Our Rose is blessing that. That card's actually really nice and limited. Ichthyomorphosis. All right, one with the stars. Another good uh, removal spell in uh, limited. Dreamstalker Manicor. Devourer of Memory. We got an Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Damn! Okay, we're on to our second Planeswalker and our second Mythic. Um, that's crazy. I would not have expected to get two Planeswalkers out of a... Uh, a bundle especially when there's only three in the set um i wonder if we can get lucky maybe in these last five packs here if we can hit uh elspeth too and just hit a planeswalker Mo uh, triple monty that would be crazy obviously i want oro because he's where the money is in this set and he helps recost the cost of the fat pack makes it worth it but uh this is pretty good this is pretty solid um I thought we opened Elspeth here, but it's just the uh, the back of the ad card with Elspeth on it. I was just like, oh, freaking out for a minute. All right. Uncommons here. Meyer Triton. Nyx Herald. Banishing Light back in standard, baby. Oh, Nightmare Shepherd. I do love this card. Um, I think it's a very solid card in this format. Um, I do think this card is not getting the love it ne needs. I think that somebody needs to play this in uh, a Yark, uh, Yark Amonicon style deck where you can recoup on the Enter the Battlefield triggers um, when you get the 1-1 token copies. And we got our first foil, other than the Arasta that came with it. It's just a common foil, an Ixborn Brute, um, obviously, with, uh, we got a Forest and a Pegasus token. Obviously, with the uh, Collector's Edition packs, the even like solid foils have been tanking really hard which is kind of sad because on the one hand like collector's edition boosters are they're good value but they're killing like the value of opening up booster packs like what is what wizards considers draft boosters now um they've just murdered the value in them because why would you even you know bother when you can get these more expensive versions of the cards 
Um, and like the packs are super solid. So until the packs are too solid, then the value in them all tanks. So it's all over the place. Omen of the Sun. Go through our commons here. Oh, well, there's three omens in that. Um, Omen of the Sun, Omen of the Hunt, and Omen of uh, whatever the blue one is. I can't remember the one with Flash. It's really nice. Um, those are good cards. Villain, uh, Therandy Singer, Dream Shaper Shaman, Destiny Spinner, another great limited all-star, and Tectonic Giant. Well, they can't all be winners, but some of them can be Tectonic Giant. Um, it's a four mana, three, four. Whenever it attacks or becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls, choose one, and that is to deal, you can either deal three damage to each opponent or exile the top two cards of your library, choose one of them until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. So, again, red with its weird attempts at card advantage, um, in my opinion, just play blue. But, you know, I'm a monster who likes control. So, we're down to... This is the third from last pack, so this would be pack number seven of ten. There we go. We have two Mythics so far in our bundle. That's pretty solid. I'm not hating on that. Let's see if we can get one more to round us out. All right, there go our commons. Thundering Chariot. Hero of the Next Born. This card was one of the early spoils. Uh, Wolf Willow Haven and Thassa's Intervention. Um... Really, really solid card. Seeing some standard play right now. Um, not expensive, but uh, I do like this card. I like being able to basically have in standard something that is almost the equivalent of either a Dig Through Time or a Counterspell stapled together. Um, especially with all the ramp strategies that are now predominating over standard with uh, Oro being the centerpiece of them. Um... So, the ad card has a child on it. I haven't seen that yet. All right, there we go. On to our uncommons. Whirlwind Denial. Cling to Dust. Archon of Falling Stars. Okay, before I move on to the rare, let me rant and rave about how much I love this damn cow. Um, this cow is absolutely absurd. It has won me so many... So many drafts in uh, Ranked Theros on Arena. I absolutely love this card. I kind of want to get one in foil just because it's won me so many drafts. Um, fantastic, fantastic card. Um, definitely, definitely worth a first pick. Hey, we got an Idyllic Tutor. There we go. That's some solid value. That's a Commander playable. That's an Eternal playable card. That's what I like to see in my standard booster packs is Eternal eternal playable cards plus we got the um the nightmare token for ashiok so that is nice i don't have to hunt that down all right kids huh. if you're a child you shouldn't be watching this this content is not for you this is for 30 year olds who like cardboard um we're on to our last pack uh we are hoping to finish out with one more mythic but all in all this has not been a bad bundle Hitting two Mythics and an Idyllic Tutor. Um, some solid playable rares. Can't hate on that. Um, let's finish out here. Finish out strong. Come on, Pack. Let's send us out with a bang and not a whimper. Um, so we have Timoret, Chosen from Death. Glimpse of Freedom. Mystic Repeal. And our last one, White. Um, Bayard Wu did the art. Oh, Shatter the Sky. Okay, I will take a Shatter the Sky because I do love playing Control, and this is one of the better four mana Wraths we've seen in a while. Um, it has the the downside of each player who controls a creature with power four or greater draws a card and then destroy all creatures, but if that's also you, that's not really a bad place to be in if, you're just, if your opponent just has more than you. Um, also, just having a four mana Wrath in standard has been something that has not been happening lately, so I'm very happy. Because, like, what was it? Uh, Core 20 had Planar Cleansing, six mana for dis uh, destroy all permanents, which is Jesus. Um, so I'm really happy to have Shatter this guy. That's a good card. Um, that is going to round out our, uh, our Theros Beyond Death bundle opening. Um, I do like that indicative of standard 
I hit more blue, uh, green, and black basics, indicative of how Saltai is one of the dominating forces of standard right now. Um, didn't get an Oro, but, uh, oh well. We're gambling on a bundle anyhow, so thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to keep the content rolling, especially now that we need some something to distract us from these troubling times. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.